Yes. I read a lot as a child and watched lots of TV. Then the doll's house we had, we still have in the attic. It's kind of a fairy castle. We used to play up there and make up our own stories. Dollhouse. Castle? Just throw in random words you may never know. July 3rd. Fairy tales. Stories about lost princesses, evil witches, magical mirrors, and lost children. Mirrors? So you see, even before I knew the truth, I'd found it in those stories. Huh. This is interesting. So words like princess, mirror, came up again, witches, castles, that stuff. It seems like she's... Oh, I kind of want to say that she, it sounds like she's admitting to something here. Something about the truth. The truth is a good one. Truth. No. It was just me and her. It was the name they were going to call their first child. They talked about it and were going to try when it came back. Florence's family had a history of first-born girls, so they were convinced it was going to be a girl. Mm. It's hard to know if this is all true. These are stories I remember that I read when I was a child. Maybe I misread, maybe I misunderstood. Or Sometimes it's not to remember what happened last week. Hmm. Child. Eve. What? Oh, so at this point, it seems like she's talking about when she was at Florence's house. Whoever Florence is. I kind of want to look more into Florence now, but oh, we have so many things here that we haven't looked at yet. I'm not sure where the dollhouse came from. I don't know if it was given to them or they inherited it. I mean, they wouldn't have had the money to buy it. It was so huge. <laughs> it must have been taken up to the attic in parts and then reassembled up there. It is a beautiful thing. Wallpaper to scale. Little furniture. The lights work. Mirrors, beds. Big duvets and pillows. We spent hours and hours playing in it. We invented all these characters and families who lived there. We wrote paperwork for them all. Passports, diaries, and gave them all really elaborate stories. Once, a moth got trapped in there. We'd left a light on. It was making the most horrendous noise. We tried to kill it, but it was tough. We ended up crushing it under a copy of the Arabian Nights. The dollhouse seems to be of some significance. Um, hmm. I kind of want to look more into Florence. Yeah, so I guess we'll just have these keywords for reference, but... Whoa, okay. Yeah, these ones for reference, but I'm not gonna be too particular about following that order. <laughs> Who is Florence? So, she only ever talked about Florence on the last day. The last day that we know of right now, July 3rd. Across the road, where my parents first lived there, midwife. was a midwife called Florence. When Hannah was born, I was born at the same time. The midwife was there to help. I'd been throttled by the cord, probably wrapped around my neck by Hannah. The midwife told my mother I was dead. But I wasn't. She wrote all this stuff in a diary. Amazing what people will admit to on paper. Can we not have that creepy 
Oh, that scares me every time. Um, Hannah. Diary. Hannah is our twin. And we almost died because of the umbilical cord, seems like. Florence took me home with her. Mother hadn't been expecting twins and had a healthy baby. I guess she was just happy for Florence to clean up. Take away the evidence that this was anything but a happy occasion. Wait, I'm gonna watch that one again. Florence took me home with her. Mother hadn't been expecting twins and had a healthy baby. I guess she was just happy for Florence to clean up. Take away the evidence that this was anything but a happy occasion. Okay. If what I'm thinking is right, basically, this woman's mother... I don't know who, what this woman's name is. This woman's mother had her and Hannah, except the midwife, Florence, when she helped the mother deliver the babies. She told the mother that this woman was dead, and Florence took this woman home with her. And I don't know if that means Florence raised her the whole time or what. That's crazy, so Hannah should still be alive. I thought only one of the twins made it out or something, but... Mother? I don't quite remember anymore. Florence was a warm, kind person. But she was broken, I guess. When I found her diary, I also found a biscuit tin with other stuff in it. All the papers, letters, that kind of thing. Her story was in there. I never really spoke to her about it. I was far too young to really understand. I guess I just put it together later, once I was older. She had loved children, planned to have a large family, but her husband died in the war. And that was back when you married for life. She never felt like she could marry again. Isn't that strange? She was a widow from her twenties. But, I mean, I guess it was different then. Married for life, and she felt she could never marry again. I guess it was harder, a war widow. One of the dead. I'm, I don't know, maybe there was more to it than that. I don't really know. Biscuit tin, married. Florence was married, and her husband was in the war and dead. I don't know, huh? This Florence figure, so this whole time, this woman hadn't been talking about her husband's murder anymore. I wonder what's up with that. Um, I think we're going to follow this Florence line a little bit more. Let's look at what's in Florence's diary. No, he doesn't keep diary. That's my thing. I've kept one, well... As long as I can remember, since I was a girl, it helps make sense of my day. And when you're forced to put something into words, this gives you perspective. Everyone's on the same page. Hmm. Not much from that, I guess. Maybe, maybe page. I don't know. When I was eight, mother died. She slipped down the stairs. It was an accident. I had read a diary at that point and I knew she wasn't my real mother. So I burned the diary that day and I left. Walked out and across the street. Huh. Yeah, man, look at how long we've been 
investigating this case, there's even sirens outside. Mother! When she says mother, does she mean her birth mother or does she mean Florence? Huh, I'm gonna have to jot down that. Her mom died when she was eight. life. We would swap places and take it in turns to do things, and we were very careful. Whoever had been out that day would come back and write a detailed diary so that we were on the same page. We had a list of rules that said what we could and couldn't do in any given situation. It was exhaustive. We lived a second life through those rules, rules for things that could only ever happen inside our imaginations. And we would consider all the permutations of future events and agree rules to walk our way through them. Sounds like... Sounds like she's talking about how she and Hannah had a system. It's kind of like, you know, sometimes in stories, they would say that twins, they sometimes take the place of each other so that the other can do whatever else they want to do. So rules, second life, maybe? Okay, um... Hannah, let's try to find out more about Hannah. Hmm, first day. Is she gonna say that Hannah is her sister? My name is Hannah. H-A-N-N-A-H. Oh. It's Pound Jack. It reads the same backwards as forwards. It doesn't work if you mirror it, though. It's not quite symmetrical, but well, I mean, you get the idea. Sorry. Hannah Smith, I live at 31 Gladstone Street. Whoa, this kind of changes things. I thought Hannah was my twin, but I'm Hannah. Hmm. But notice that the date is June 18. So, this day? She, it was the first day she came in. So, so far we have June 18, 27, July 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. And July 3rd when she, was when she started talking about Florence and Hannah and the umbilical cord and all that stuff. And right now she's claiming to be Hannah. So I think maybe she's not actually Hannah or maybe split personality, something like that. I don't know. Hannah Smith Gladstone? Did she, did she say she lived at Gladstone or something? Gladstone Street? July or June 30th, that's our first time with this clip. She doesn't look too happy. Was someone even in the room when she was saying all that stuff? Seemed like someone just walked into the room at the very end there. Eve, Eve. Um, who was Eve again? Eve was... She... Someone was gonna name her first daughter Eve. Florence, was it? Eve. I'd like to check that out later. Yes. My name is Hannah Smith. Oh. Shit. Sorry. Is that a lie detector? Let's see that one again. Yes. My name is Hannah Smith. Oh. Shit. Sorry. Yeah, on lie detector tests, don't you usually have to give all truthful answers or all 
lying answers or something? I don't know. Why did she say that she's sorry? Hmm. Huh. Maybe I put in lie detector. I think it's a lie detector test. I don't really know though. It could be like a blood pressure measuring device. Let's search Eve. Well, my friend Eve. I mean, she was the kind from when I was a kid. And she was always more popular with the boys, and I used to hate her for it. I mean, really hate her sometimes. What? Yes. We'd fight. We fought on the beach once and I held Eve's head underwater. There was no one else around. It was at the far end of the beach. And I held her head under and I kept it up. And for a moment, I just wanted to kill her and watch her drown. But that was it. It was just a moment. We made up afterwards. It was a love-hate relationship. <sighs> difficult. Difficult to make sense of all of this. Very scattered. Police station. Yeah. When I was young, we ran away on my birthday. Bob Dylan was playing in London and we thought we could break into his tour bus and have him take us with him. The taxi driver we paid to drop us off. I mean, we'd saved money, pinched a bit here and there to pay for the fare. He was suspicious because we were so young, so he told the police. So they came and picked us up and took me back to Portsmouth. My mum picked me up in the station. But I blamed everything on my friend Eve. So my parents let me off. I think I forgot, I've been forgetting to do these little tagging things. So let me go back to this one and say underwater, beach, drown, love, hate. Oh crap, I think I put the... Whatever, I don't even care. I just need some place to store these words. Police station. Ran away, Lon London. Bob Dylan. Portsmouth. That's the place we're at, I think. My mother called me Eve. Florence. Florence's first child. She wanted to call her first child Eve. My mother. So I'm still really confused. In my mind, that twin theory made perfect sense, but now she came out and says that her name is Hannah. Huh. What should we search next? How about um, Dollhouse? She kept mentioning that a few times. June 25th. Yes. I inherited it from my parents, so it made sense to move back. Me and Simon. Felt like going back to old ways before the pregnancy. Reminded me of being a girl, a dollhouse in the attic, old things. We didn't sleep in my parents' bedroom for a long time. We decorated it as soon as we moved in, but it was another year before we started sleeping there. Is their daughter named Eve? I'm gonna watch this one again. Yes. I inherited it from my parents, so it made sense to move back. A house. Me and Simon. Felt like going back to old ways before the pregnancy. Reminded me of being a girl, a dollhouse in the attic, old things. We didn't sleep in my parents' bedroom for a long time. We decorated it as soon as we moved in, but it was another year before we started sleeping there. 
Hmm. Inherit. Pregnancy. Sleep. Parents. The legal stuff was completed very quickly. Had to move back in with Simon. Eric gave Simon the week off to help with the move. He decorated, modernised wallpaper curtains. Hannah insists the attic we left as it was, dollhouse and all. Simon never went up there. Hannah, see it sounds like she has a twin. Huh. I'm pretty sure she has a twin, who is also named Hannah, as far as I know. Huh. I'm looking through my real life notes list right now. Eric! Who is Eric? Wait. Eric? Eric, I think, is Simon's boss, maybe? Ooh. He was wearing, um... A shirt, like a blue turtleneck shirt and jeans. He has a watch, it's a really nice one. That was a gift from his boss, Eric. Boss? Um, he had his coat, a long grey duffel coat, black pants there. Uh, he would have taken that with him, it's not in the house. Coat? Paddington Bear House. So, it was Friday evening. We had an argument. He left. On Saturday, he didn't come back. I waited all day. He was supposed to go help Eric out with something on the Saturday afternoon. They had a job, but he didn't show. So Eric was ringing on the phone. I checked at the rock, that's our local. They said they'd seen him on the Friday night, but not since. He still wasn't back this morning. He just isn't like him at all. Still not back by dinner time. It's getting dark again. So I decided to come see you. His parents haven't heard anything either. The June 19th should be the first day this woman, Hannah, visit at the police station because she's reciting the details of how her husband went missing. So, again, keywords from before came up. The Rock. The Rock is their local, I don't know what it is, diner? Argument, Saturday. Dinner time, The Rock, whatever. Yes, there's a car that we share of Cavalier. And a van he uses for work. It's owned by Eric, but we look after it. Both of them are there now, parked on the street. I'm not sure about the keys for the van. I can look for you when I get back. I'm gonna have to play that one again. Van? Yes, keys? there's a car that we share. Cavalier. Cavalier. And a van he uses for work. It's owned by Eric, but we look after it. Both of them are there now, parked on the street. I'm not sure about the keys for the van. I can look for you when I get back. Police asking about their transportation methods. Van keys, Cavalier Park Street. Um, do these disappear if I close the window? Because they better damn well not. Yes, that would be in his wallet. It's a visa. A silver one. He doesn't like spending. Mastercard. Have, so Credit card. He usually pays with cash. But Eric convinced him to get one. The police trying to determine if he was robbed, pretty much. Visa, cash, money. Uh, Eric was like an uncle to him. They were pretty close. They spend a lot of time with each other, especially when they have to go to conferences. Have you met his wife, Diane? 
Diane. His wife, Diane. Okay. Conferences. So running out of words here, uh, should we go through this list again down here? How about holiday in Rome? We spent the wedding night in a hotel in Brighton. It would have been too much to do more. We were staying for the baby. It was wonderful to be in a hotel, away from home, just alone together. Since then, we've always tried to get away for our holiday. Brighton, baby, hotel. Um, let's see here. Rome, maybe? Too narrow. Blonde? I doubt it. Ooh. Whoa, why is she playing the... Okay. She's playing the guitar in that one for some reason. No. I think he spoke to Helen. She said he was upset about her argument, but I'm not sure what else he said. He likes Helen. He likes blondes. Simon. They had an argument about Helen. I think Helen, the name Helen came up earlier, but I don't think I entered in entered it in yet. Helen could be a good one. Could the hairs have come from somewhere else? I mean, could they we have a lot of dolls in the attic. There's a Rapunzel doll with long blonde hair. Could they have come from there? The police found some hairs relating to the case? Hmm. Rapunzel. Again with the princess thing. Hairs. Dolls addicts. This other person doesn't exist. Hannah. I don't know what the blonde wig is, but it could be anything. Have you looked at the cat flap? Wig? Cat flap. Again, some of the words that we have, but we haven't searched yet. You want me to play something? Not the world's greatest guitar player. Okay. Probably needs tuning. No. It's okay. How about a traditional ballad? It should be right up your street.
Oh, achievement. Okay, so... Yeah, I think we're pretty far from finishing. Let's check this thing. Yeah, I'm gonna take a break here, but I'll let you know what I think right now. From that song. It seems- okay, if that song is actually about the game and not just a random song. Um, my theory, my current theory is that... Hannah. This is Hannah. She is the elder of the twins. And Eve is the younger one. Eve is blonde. And Hannah and Eve both like Simon. Except Simon only like Eve? Okay, maybe it's not Eve, maybe it's Helen. Oh, I'm so mixed up already. But I think you get what I'm trying to say here. Basically, there's twins and there's a man and the twins both like the same man. And I don't want to say it, but it seems like... <laughs> just from this clip, it sounds like this woman here killed her twin. She was talking about drowning the elder sister, drowning the younger sister. Just now in the song and i have it here in my notes that on june in one of the june 30th clips it mentioned that she wanted to drown eve she didn't actually drown her but she put her head underwater and held her in place for a little bit so that's why i thought maybe the other twin's name is eve i know later she says that it's hannah but right now she's hannah right like this woman here is hannah but on july 3rd She's that she says that maybe her twin is Hannah. I don't I'm so confused right now. But I was thinking that maybe it could be Helen because apparently Simon and Hannah were arguing about Helen initially. So um it's very hard. It's not really coming together right now and judging by this, I think we still have a good bit more to go. I have a lot of keywords written down on paper. But if you feel that there's any particular ones that I didn't address or point out or type in that little tags thing specifically, please feel free to let me know and I will do my best to add it to the list and hopefully we'll go through all of these keywords and find all of these clips in the end. So I want to take a break for now and I will see you all later then.